<laughs> hey everyone, how's it going? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, my name is Pro Jared. <laughs> What's up? Uh, show of hands, who does not know who I am? Of course, everyone I know and love is like, we don't know who you are, so. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Gerard and I'm the completionist on YouTube. Uh, thank you. I've been developing a habit for seven years. It's been very difficult playing, completing one game a week for the end of time. Um, Couple, couple of ground rules. But first off, thank you all for coming. I know it's like early for us. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but uh, it definitely feels early. Um, so, a couple things. First off, uh, welcome to PRG. We're the first panel happening. So, uh, <laughs> we have a very full room. Almost every single seat is taken, which is kind of nice. So, thank you all. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are going to want to leave and go to, to Jeff and uh, uh, Austin. Austin, thank you. <laughs> Not working today. Uh, and then Jerry's panel after, and uh, they kind of sandwiched all of our signings together, which is kind of uncool. Um, so just to be cool with that, I'm going to be at all their signings as well. So don't go to my signing, go to theirs if you want to see me or see their panels. So don't worry about it. Uh, I'm here for you guys, so if you see me, ask for an autograph, take photos, all that stuff, I'm, I'm here for you, so do not be weirded out or tripped out by me. Uh, I will be here till I see everyone I can, so thank you all for coming, I really appreciate it. I love the show, I love you guys, I, I love the vibe, it's such a fun city, a fun time. This is one of my biggest and favorite shows to come, I get to see everyone I know and love. And, uh, you know, I, I thought, uh, because, how many people have been going to Portland for the past few years? So a fair amount of you guys, that's pretty cool. How many of you are new? That's awesome, cool. So from now on, I'm going to make it mandatory that all the new people show up again. Because what we're going to be doing is the world's slowest team completionist run in the history of mankind. We are going to, as a room, beat Super Mario World over the course of the next nine years. So I'm going to see you Idea, I know, we're gonna have fun today. Um, <laughs> uh, for those of you guys here last year, once again, uh, audio is not working, so we're just gonna kind of see silent gameplay of Mario World happen. Uh, it's because the we just don't have the tech yet, guys. We're working on it. You know? <laughs> one day, we'll get there one day. What's that? That's what you know. That's, that's, a, that's a fair roast, I, but Lady Luigi. Um, but uh, it's okay. It's fine. I, I, Again, the panel's not about this, it's about you guys. We'll um, sound effects for you. Sound effects? We'll do the sound effects. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, this is going to be a, a, a Q&A slash Let's Play kind of thing. I'm going to have you guys, uh, we only have a podium, so you can just raise your hand and I'll call you up. You're going to ask me a question, I'm going to answer it, and then once you're done answering, you're going to come up, you're going to play a level of Mario World. Uh, you only get one life, so if you die, I'm sorry, and you only beat level once. That's the only way everyone gets to play, and we make progress. So, come up with a good question, beat a level, help us get closer to beating this game uh, by 2025. So, <laughs> halfway there already. Halfway there already, there you go. Uh, a couple of other things before we get started. I have a lot of disclaimer stuff. Um, one, uh, Try and ask questions that aren't like, what's my favorite game, or will I complete it? Because most of those questions you guys want to ask me, Google will tell you all of the answers, because it's the same answer for the past seven years. Donkey Kong Country 2 is my favorite, Final Fantasy 6 is my favorite, and uh, yes, I will complete every single game you want me to complete. So, even the weird ones, yes, I will do it. One day. Yakuza Zero, did you just say that? So, I heard that. <laughs> one day, it's not yet. So that said, I have an SNES Classic here. Um, ooh, we should be starting up now. Um, yeah, so here we go, we're gonna wait for the little loading screen. Mario. Mario World, there it is, Mario. Yahoo! Great, there we go. 
time, no one else has a question. We'll answer that and have you guys line up next. You, sir, in the completionist shirt. <laughs> Have you ever give it up on complete again? Like got halfway through and went, I can't do it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's a great I'm question. Sorry guys, I've played this game. No, all. you're doing great. Don't even trip. Look, the only the only reason why anyone would ever say anything bad about you is if you're a YouTuber. <laughs> I, that I gave up on or wanted to give up on. Um, <coughs> that's like every game out there. There's so many games out there that I want to play, that I want to complete, that just are are never ending. Um, truth, truth be told, the scariest thing. You're good. No, she's like he's, he's going to come back. Um, the the worst. I think the worst recently in recent weeks was Mega Man 11. Mega Man 11, I was, I was up until 6.30, the, the, like hours before the episode went live, and uh, it was me and Pat, uh, my, uh, the editor for the show, just like, having this moment of like, do we have any alcohol? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it through this one. Um, and uh, it was rough, but uh, I somehow did it. That, that was the most scariest one. We. Other than that, as long as you don't hear about it, right, like, no one really knows I gave up on it. I think a, a part of the lore of the show is that um, people want me to beat the games and complete them. So if I don't do it, it's like a travesty. Woo! while not telling you guys. It was, it was very fun. Uh, let's see here. Ryu holding a copy of is that My Sims? What is that? Dokemon Kingdom. Oh, Dokemon Kingdom, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, no, don't apologize me. Gotcha. What up, Ryu? What's your question? Um, what's your favorite restaurant around Portland? Uh, Pine. Biscuits. We were just there this morning. It's so good. All you were like, Whoa, what is he talking about? It's a place that just serves uh, really cool, great biscuit sandwiches. They're always busy. There's always a line. I almost missed the panel to go there, but it was worth it. So. There you go. Alright, let's, let's, let's have Ryu get ready. Uh, Yo, she has. There we go. Mario's start. Hold this all on. All right, let's get some more questions. Um, who, the, the gentleman or, or or person with the DK bongo trunks? <laughs> what's your question? Uh, what's your What's the easiest game you've ever completed? Ooh. Imagine wedding designers. <laughs> Just like put clothes on. <laughs> it's all you do. I mean, if you look, if you're going to a wedding convention and you need to bring some gaming stuff with you, imagine when these items from Nintendo DS is not a bad way to start. <laughs> Bongo drums, why don't you come up here and play? You know, you're up here next. You're doing it, you're doing it, Peter. There you go, Ryu. Hey, don't hurt yourself. 
Thank you, Ryu. What was your name? Uh, I'm Jojo. Jojo, everyone, welcome, Jojo. <laughs> All right, Jojo, we gotta get you capsules. Don't mess it up. All right, more questions. You wear the Super Beer Bros shirt. Hi. Yeah, that's a, we we are actually. Uh, the thing is that we want it, to. It's 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 interesting right now because we're in the middle of, of changing our merge lineup pretty drastically, and so the, the the game was shirts are definitely like in that like realm of how we want to sell them again because while everyone loves the designs, uh, we also want to like honor the people who have been good patrons to us over the over the years, and we don't want to like take away the experience of not giving them the shirts. So I think going forward, we're going to be doing is. On some of the newer designs, we're gonna launch like the Game Wisp variant, which is like the cooler shirt, the cooler, better like look and vibe and feel. And then for the public, it'll be like the general shirt. It's still same design, but better material, I guess, if you will, or if that makes sense. A different variant. Uh, but yes, we, we do we, we do plan to bring back some of them. Not all of them, um, but some of them we will be. Oh man, this is intense. Use the force. Uh, Who's going to say use the force? <laughs> Joey knows what he's doing. Good coach. Yeah, you do. Oh, God. No, he's fine. He's fine. Throw the fireballs. Get him. Get him. to the end of this level, so good luck. You can do it, you can still try. It's always worth trying. You holding the Banjo-Kazooie guy? Hey! I just wonder how much help you get from other people when you play through your games, like Call of Duty. Oh, you mean like in the office or, yeah. or around? Yeah, so, um, oh, be careful. Be careful. Oh! Oh, you can try again. Hey, it's accepted. One more try. Um, the the sh the short answer is yes, I get help. The long answer is no, I get help. Um, <laughs> around around the office. Uh, first off, uh, for the first time ever, if you guys are big fans of the show uh, and you love the guy that I kill all the time named Ted, <laughs> he's here. So if you want to say hi to him, he's in the front row checking out. Ted, Ted is this, this weird unsung here that everyone loves. I don't. Very confused by him. Jump on him, there you go. Yeah. Oh. Go in, go in, go in, go in. Come on. Oh. Yeah. One more down. Seven, eight more secret worlds to go. Thank you very much. Mr. Mr. Banjo guy. Yeah, the, 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 the real answer is that uh, I, I do complete all the games myself, but there are some moments where nowadays, because of New Game Plus and the regular show, um, I am completing anywhere from six to nine games a month. Um, that's why I'm so sleepy all the time. <laughs> How I have no life. Um, maybe. Um, but, uh, so... Yeah, essentially now I, I've been a little more lenient about having help around the office um, just because I want people to, uh, you know, if I need to grind the same axe over and over and over again, uh, why not let someone else do it for like 10 seconds? Um, you're okay. Charm and Chuck's just chilling. Now he's running, but you got, there you go. Twirl, twirl, twirl. There you go. Playing it safe. You're doing great, you guys. This is awesome, this is awesome so far. Um, yeah. I hope I answered Look at this. This man's seen the Matrix up in here. Hey! 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 He's got a lot to do it for, for sure. Fuck you, fucking Woo! Hold on! There you go. Any more questions? What? Are you holding a 3DS? What is that? A 3DS? What's your question?
we're gonna do it, guys. Are you thinking about the next game you have to complete? How much of your mind is it going over just thinking about what you have to do at work? <laughs> exactly. It's all everything about, unfortunately, which I feel bad for my family and my girlfriend because they have to put up with so much. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty bad. I'm uh, unfortunately I am a slave to the job. Um, I almost. And I hate to like blame someone. The person I want to blame is YouTube. Um, Good job, the, the fact that they their algorithms change all the time, and it's just this insane adrenaline-driven business that's based on like what's happening today. Um, you know, this year especially, this has been a very sobering year for us because um, while our total subscribers have been skyrocketing and our engagement's never been better, and we've been doing well as a business, the best. Uh, the videos are the new videos are getting less and less views, and so um, which is weird because on the back end all of our total views are doing really really well. So we're doing great across the board, but when a company wants to come in and it's like, hey, we want to sponsor a video. Oh, you only get X amount of views. We'll give you a hundred bucks. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, it's it's so weird. Um, so I guess at the end of the day. We're, I'm always thinking about the next best thing, what to make, what we can do to improve. You know, I really want to make a Big Bad Boss is Volume 2. I really want to make a Netflix show that I can sell to Netflix. I really want to do a movie. Because I'm a creator at the end of the day. Video games is my, my love and my passion and my hobby, but I grew up in cinema and acting, and I don't get to do any of that with the show the way that it is. And I've removed a lot of those cinematic elements from the show because YouTube just doesn't like it. Um, you know, we used to have long form sketches and weird ass plot lines and like, I got something to an Xbox at one point, like, it was all things that, uh, while we're very trophy of what YouTube was, um, were fun for me to experiment. Like, I don't know how to do green screen effects, so I was like teaching myself and having a great time. And nowadays, because of how the show and YouTube have changed, we kind of have to create this like burger factory line kind of thing. So it's like, you know, we, if we're gonna make a cheeseburger, we're gonna make a really good cheeseburger. And every now and then we might make a taco. And we make the taco, everyone's like, no, 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 we want the cheeseburger, damn it. And then you're like, all right. And then eventually people are like, cheeseburger's not very good. And it's like, all right, well, I'll make something else. And it's like, no, no, keep the cheeseburger. Just, we'll figure it out. That's just what YouTube is. You're just kind of constantly working. It's a very exhausting environment. Um, which I'll say to anyone who wants to get into YouTube, um, as much as I would recommend it now, uh, spend your time doing something like Twitch or, or choosing a platform that's different, like Mixer or, or I know like Vine was a thing, TikTok is a new thing now, which sounds really weird. Um, but experiment and don't be stuck to one platform. Um, you know, that's why we're on Facebook on Beard Bros all the time, because it's like one day I can wake up and YouTube will be like, your channel's gone, bye. And my entire last seven-year lifespan of YouTube work is gone. So diversify, diversify, diversify. I'm a slave for work, but thank you for your question. Come on up and play. <laughs> also, speaking, speaking of work, uh, how many of you have a frog in the car kind of thing? A shirt, a hat, a lot of you, a few of you guys? Well, my girlfriend is here in the front row. She's here. If you want her to sign them, she made the frog in the car thing. If you want to go buy frog in the car stuff and have her sign it, that can happen too. Uh, so she'll be around to say hello. So say hi to her. It'd be great. That's Amanda. She's in the red dress up front. We repeat this level? Oh, Jonas, look at this. Look at these completionists coming in here. We gotta do it eventually, right? Complete. There you go. Uh, uh, are you are you holding a copy of Imagine Wedding Designers? What is that? A DS game? Uh, what is that? You in the very back in the white shirt. What is that? It's a Smash controller. Smash controller. Okay, it just looked like a, D a bad DS game from Super Mario. <laughs> What's your question? What are you gonna do with the pro draw to finish Pro Char the Finishes. People joke about this bit, but the truth of it is that it's not our bit. Um, it's it's the Game Grumps bit, and we don't want to. We talked with the you know the Grumps are like you guys can do whatever we want. We don't care. But Jared and I are so flipping busy that uh, it just kind of seems like the the meme of it has kind of already come and gone. 
Um, but at least there's always TMNT to uh, remember that for. So, essentially never, but in the nicest way possible. Oh, that's a dad. Thank you much for playing. Get on with the snack controller come on up today. Is it Link? Is that Link back there? Standing up? What's up, Link? What's your question? Um, are you going to ever collab with Space Hamster? Jeff? Yeah. I, I could. I, have, I haven't worked with him. I think he's, again, if he wanted to, he'd be down. I'm, I'm always down to work with friends. I'd rather do videos with friends than with people I don't know. Um, that's kind of my rule of thumb, is that if I know them, I will work with them. But I know Jeff. Uh, yeah, it could definitely happen. Just gotta ask him if he wants to do it. Now I guarantee you the conference is gonna be like this. Hey Jeff. Hey man. Do you wanna do a video with me? Okay. <laughs> so I'll ask him for you. <laughs> Thank you. Link, you're gonna be up here playing next, so get ready. Uh, let's see here. Everyone's being so patient. Thank you. Um, are you. Is that a poster of some kind in the back? What is that? Oh. Yeah, that right there. Yeah, it's a few posters actually. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, squish. I'm sorry. Yeah. Link, come on up and play. Woo! The, the person with the poster, what was your question? What's the next drunk video you're going to do or would like to do? Oh, for Super Drunk Bros? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. Excuse my language for the parents out there. I think we're doing, uh... Oh, I'm sorry. One second. <laughs> sorry, Link. There you go. <laughs> I think the, uh, the next Drunk video we're doing is called Hey, Hey, Fuck You, Pikachu. <laughs> and it's us getting really drunk trying to control Pikachu with the microphone. <laughs> sorry, parents. I know this thing. There's a young, young Link up here, and I'm just swearing in their ear, so... I believe them. Don't let it wake up! It's gonna wake up on you! Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it! Nice try, Link, thank you very much. The gentleman who asked that question about the next drunk video, you're more than welcome to go. Charizard hat. What's your favorite Pokemon? Bulbasaur. Yeah. He's number one for a reason. He's the best. Is <laughs> for me? This is for me? Thank you. Aww. Aww. It's in here. Yeah, Mario Kart collector pins. A bunch of posters for games. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. You're playing. Yeah. It's always right here. It's right here. Thank you very much. I like this bag. It's all soft. It's shiny. Uh, you spinning the hat. There's a lot of guys spinning hat. The, the, the black hat is being spun. That's me. Yes, that's you. What is your question? Uh, first of all, congrats on almost a million subs. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Five, five thousand subscribers away from a million subscribers. Something like that. We've always been a little engine that could, but uh, thank you. Okay, secondly, your beard's looking good. Hope you have a long, happy life together. And, thank uh, you. My, my beard and I are, we're always, we're, we're always arguing about life, but you know. <laughs> I don't want to be young Santa. He's ready to retire, okay. you know. If you could have any video game item in real life, what would it be? Ooh. Any video game item in real life, what would it be? Um, oh man, I don't know. Probably, like, something that has magic. Something that's really easy to be like, oh man, I could just become invisible because I have this item. I'd say some, probably something from things of the past, just like, you know, visible cloak or uh, hook, oh, hook shot seems weird to want. I don't know. I think it's more, it's more about, like, the item. I just want to be practical, whatever the item is. Ooh. But you will still come up and play after them, so don't worry about it. Uh, you holding the Conker's Bad Fur Day guy. Uh, what's your most anticipated game to complete or re-complete? 
Game, I'll, I'll just do games of the year and then new game plus. That's like how I think about. Um, game of the year I'm looking forward to complete is Smash Ultimate. Yeah! Yeah! I'm excited because uh, it's going to be during the holidays, so we get to ignore my family. <laughs> I have to work, sorry. Got to complete a game. That, that episode of Human Idea is episode 300, so that's like how we schedule it. Uh, it's also, I think it's also on my birthday, so that'll be interesting. Um, and, yeah, that actually is my birthday, so there you go. Uh, yeah, come on up and then play. Uh, New Game Plus game, or rather, that line, the gentleman in the black hat, the gentleman with the conquerors guy, they're up next. Um, you got this, you got this. What did I tell you? Pros, naturals, no worries. Um, what was the other, what was the other thing I was talking about just now? New Game Plus. New Game Plus, thank you. Uh, a game I'm looking forward to for as difficult as it is slash was. Really excited for Catherine. <laughs> I think it's going to be great. That's why it's going to be a rough one, but excited for that one. Thank you. Um, you holding the GameCube. Do you have a question? Yes, I do. What's up? My main question is, do you remember Metroid? Do I remember Metroid? Because I forgot about Metroid? Right now, I remember it because you told me. But had it not been that, I probably would have forgotten. <laughs> to those guys who are unaware, uh, we're doing a Retroid Cross Link to the Past randomizer on the, on the Let's Play channel right now. And when we're playing it, we forget all the time that we're playing the other game just because it's cross blended together. And it's very, very discerning until like we enter a door and it's like, oh, we're playing a new game now. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So, there you go. Look at this guy. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, the smash hat, you were up next, and then down the line. Hello, everybody. How, how do you not play through? <laughs> there you go. How's the time here? We got, we got 10 minutes. I think we're doing okay. Um, let's see here. Chris Damlo sent me a text that just says booze. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, you holding the PRG Mega Man pamphlet? Yeah. Uh, I forgot about Metroid Two. Uh, <laughs> See, it creeps up on you. I'm really enjoying that. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, what's your favorite type of stage? Oh, like, oh. Castles, hunt houses, like castles. Oh. Oh. My favorite stage is that we just said. Yeah, or hunt I'm house. sorry, you'll have to pass the controller. <laughs> like castles or hunt houses. Woo. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second. Everyone wait. This is the final moment. Don't get too soaked, everyone. It might be a thing we don't know. Oh no, the exact opposite. Get, be calm. Stay calm. Everyone stay calm. No one move. It is 2018. We can do it. I have to compete with the sound. Your question was, one more time. Do you like castles or haunted houses more? Castles or haunted, or haunted houses more from Mario World? I would say castles. They're more fun, more challenging, and the ghost, the ghost stuff just is boring to me at some point. I generally get bored with it. Thank you for your question. Come on up. Uh... The young person with black shirt in the back. Yeah. Am I familiar with what? I am not. A science YouTuber? Okay. I'll definitely check him out. Thank you very much for, for asking. I appreciate it. If you want to play, although we don't have much time left, so we're already we're already running out of time. 
he goes by so and so as we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the person holding up a new Majora's Mask Nintendo 3DS XL class. Alright, one life, if you count. I was just wondering if you have like a mental health or sanity regimen for preparing for completing Hollow Night. <laughs> 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 Shake the Magic 8 Ball has back in December. I'm trying. We, that was the game that won the Indie Land donation goal with the Indie Land, so I am going to be doing uh, Hollow Knight. Uh, it's episode like 298, something like that, right before Smash. So I'll be plenty crazy for Smash! <laughs> Thank you for your question. Is that me? Chris, did you send me another text? No, it's Alex Fossiani. He's having a conversation with oh, Davis. Um. You actually holding a Majora's Mask Nintendo 3DS XL. Or no, it's the Hyrule Triforce Heroes one. What's up? Uh, Proposition for Big Bad Bosses? No promises 2018, but I'll still listen. What's up? Just an idea. Sure. Smash Bros. Do like the new one and have Don Gazer like Yeah. Okay. Not a bad idea. I'm a fan of that. Uh, we already have. Ooh, look at you. We already have actually a framework for the second album already written out. Uh, I talked about it a little bit. Yay! Thank you very much. Yeah, Bulbasaur. There you go. Um, for a video boss is what? Oh, bonus stage. Do it. Hey, 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 the second album is a prequel album, and it's going to take place uh, about 20 years before the timeline of, of the current album. Mostly because Nate wants the battle is so busy that he can't be in the pant. So we're trying to retcon his importance into the lore. Um, so what we decided is that Big Bad Bosses is going to always be the three main members of, of Big Bow, Ronick, and, and G Cash, and the fourth member will be a guest member every round. Um, and so the, the, we don't know what the, the next guest member is. I know who the performer is, I don't know who, what the character is. Um, but essentially it's going to end, um, it's, it's, it's kind of like a Beatles in the review show kind of thing. Uh, so you're going to see like those guys in their like younger, affordable years in the 60s, 70s, and 80s of music. And then it ends with I'm the Boss and how they kind of found Sephiroth and stuff, like in an audition process. So that's kind of the idea for the second album. Uh, but we're, we're quite a ways away before we're doing that. Um, so thank you for the question. I appreciate or Thank you for the suggestion. I appreciate it. I feel like I have to call one of these Keyblade Masters because they just keep swinging the Keyblades up. What's up? Uh, uh, Ken. For an idea for next year, would you consider doing uh, for the game? Would you do uh, a fighting game where two people have to go up against each other? For two people who ask the question. I, I actually I've done that before. Um, thank you. Yay! Good job. I've done it before. It's not that I don't want to, but I've had some people like purposely not fight each other just to be around on stage for the attention. So. Uh, it's okay. I get it. I'm so sorry, Chris. No, you're... <laughs> uh, but it's a good idea. I appreciate it. Thank you. Come on up if you want to join the line. How are we on time? Are we on time almost? 15 minutes. 
TM hat. Official mod, official. Oh. Already? What's your question, sir? Are you trying to mess with me? <laughs> trying to make me like a fool? Oh. Man, this level's was really rough. <laughs> Alright, next up. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ken. Do the, do your best. Two minutes. You want to go up here and play? Do it. Yes, a question. We're almost out of time, so this is probably be it. Um, so make it count. Uh, just be. I'm just gonna let you ask this question because you have a picture of Tom Howard printed out. <laughs> I already know who you are. So what's your question? Thank you, Ken. What do they do that is the most crucial to being able to do this show? Uh, like, are you mean the crew of TOVG as a whole? Well, like, Brent very specifically, but yeah. Well, so people don't only know this, but there's like 15 people that make the completionists happen nowadays. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I have a question for you. How's Mario World working out for you? <laughs> thank you for thank you for giving me money and getting a shirt and a hat. I appreciate it. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Thank you. I think I think we're done with the, with the panel, unfortunately. So you can put it down. Um, but guys, look at that. You did pretty good. Look, you almost beat it. We will uh, continue next year, obviously, but um, to answer your question, there's, there's 15 people that work on The Completionist each and every week, whether it be artists, um, or editors, or producers, or writers, um, you know, shooting stuff. It, it gets really insane, um, but, but Brad is the lead writer for the show, uh, if you guys know Super Couch Fighters, or now Weekend Warriors, um, as well from Beard Bros. And Verity is our is our main producer. He's the one responsible for any and all brand deals. He's responsible for. Uh, responsible for uh, planning things and, and really just working towards um, you know getting this organized. Um, they put a ton of work. They they they're carrying my dead corpse every week as I'm like trying to get some sleep. Um, so they really are a huge help. So, guys, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Um, before you all go, I, I didn't say this, but I'm saying it now because two things. One, I love you all. Thank you for all your support. Thank you a lot. Also, the last person who plays gets the SES Classic, so that's you! You get the SES Classic! Guys, enjoy your show. Have a great weekend. I'll see you around. Be good.